All right, guys, so this is just a little refresher on flams for you. So a flam looks like this, and you can see there's a little note and a big note. That little note is called a grace note, and then the big note is called the main note. And the way we're going to accomplish this rudiment is we're going to always have a low stick and a high stick. So this low stick represents the middle note. This is going to be your grace note. And your high stick is your main note. And so the flam is named after whatever stick is your high stick. So since my right hand is up right now, this is going to be a right flam. If I looked like this, I would be all ready for a left flam. Okay, so because we want a softer, a quieter note that happens a little bit before our main note, this is actually going to be accomplished just by setting my sticks up like this and uses gra gra using gravity. Take a listen. All right, so it kind of sounds like one fat note. We don't want it too far apart. We don't want that two note sound, right? We just want it to sound like one fat note. Now you'll notice after I play that flam, my hands are gonna switch, right? So I'm immediately going to be ready for a flam on the opposite hand following that. Check it out. All right, so my hands switched right away and now I'm ready for a left flam. Let's go ahead and try a left flam. Notice my hands switch again, so I'm all ready for a right flam after that. I'll do some in a row for you. Now notice I really use my wrist for this motion, right? This isn't a very army rudiment. We're gonna use our wrists like hinges and really try and prevent any extra like side to side motion. Here, watch a few more. Sometimes we call our hands switching like that tin soldier technique. And we can, of course, lower our stick heights and get quiet flams as well. Right? We still come out to the edge, just like normal. Uh, if you have a flam followed by a regular note, uh, then your hands are still going to switch because we always want to be ready to alternate hands. So let's say I play a right-handed flam and then a left-handed regular note. After I play that left-handed note, my right hand comes up so that I'm ready for another flam if I need it. So I'm gonna play for you now some right-handed flams and left-handed single notes after that. So you can see I'm always prepared for that opposite hand to happen. Check it out on the other hand. Left-handed flam, then right-handed note. Okay, so you can try working on your alternating flams and working on flams followed by a single note so that you can practice both your right flams and your left flams.